Welcome to, to this part. So today I want to fix an obvious issue that we've got in our animation. And that is this, when we arm, he just snaps from one to the other, which is not what we want. Whereas everything else seems rather, is quite smooth. So how do we solve that problem? Well, in the animation layer interface or using linked layers, it's not as obvious as you might think. So if you go to your main animation blueprint, the one that the character mesh is running, this is where we've got our walk with the animal animation layer interface attached to it, ALI locomotion. So in order to get blending, what you need to do is this. So you need to actually click on walk. Then on the right, you get access to this blend in and blend out time. So maybe we'll do blend in 0.4 seconds and we can play around with these blend out 0.4 seconds. So that sets it here. But if you read it, or maybe it doesn't write anything, but what you need to do is you need to add a particular node called an inertialization node. So you've got your locomotion walk, it goes through an inertialization mode and then comes to the output pose. However, if you read this, it doesn't tell you anything again. What you now need to do is go to each one of your linked layers. So we'd created four of these if I just go through each one, so what you need to do is then in the state machine, so if you go to your walk, we created a state machine in nearly all of them. Double click, enter. In this transition, go to the blend logic and change that to inertialization. Go here, go to walk, open your state tree, blend logic, change that to inertialization. Go here, stand up, this transition blend logic, inertialization. And the standing layer, again, go to walk, open your state tree, here change that to inertialization. Now compile and now let's see. So now if we play and we do the, we get a nice smoother animation. That's the same there, smooth. So that's the first part and all the rest is okay. The other issue though, is whether the, the speeds are a little bit too fast. They're slightly sliding. So we could change that in the, because remember in our animation, our blend spaces, we had lower speeds. So we did have crouched at 300. Maybe we can change the walk to a slightly faster than crouch, but maybe 350. So again, the animations are hopefully a bit more matched to the speed of the character. This is something that we should expose to our state tree. And that's what state trees are good for. So what we'd probably do for that is go to our tutorial, maybe in our, we'll create a new folder, like structures, enums. <coughs> We'll create a structure where you can change the, say, the walk speed when you enter each state. So we'll go to Blueprint, Structure, call that F, Character Attributes. And we can now set some values here. So we'll put a max walk speed. That will be a float. Do another one. 
max crouch walk speed. We'll give it those similar default values, so the max walk speed 350, crouch speed 300 to begin with. That will make life easier. Then if we go to our base task, so we look at where do we create our state trees, tasks, we had a base task, and then in the link animation layer, maybe we could just put it in Let's just put in the base task. Create a variable. This will be character attributes. It will be of type F character attributes. We'll expose it. And then we can maybe put a function in the base task where we set the values of these on our character. So we'll have a function so set character attributes we'll get our character attributes we'll split get our character and can we do it straight here set max walk to get char get character movement set max walk speed that set max crouch walk speed crouched that In our enter state, we'll just call this function. And remember, we're in each one of our child blueprints, we are calling to the parent function. So that's that. Now we go to our combat our state tree. So in each one of these states, we don't need to change them, but if you notice, we have access to the character attributes. So say, for instance, we wanted to have the character moving at faster speeds in certain layers than other layers or going slower in one layer than another layer based on the animations we can now set that directly in our state tree again that does that crouching and we've got that smoother animation when the gun is being raised and dropped. So that's good. And there's one other thing. We go to our weapon. We created a function called add weapon, which we call straight at the set references. Then we call that in our character, don't we? Begin play. Or the construction script. That's right, we do it in the construction script. But I've been getting a bit of a strange issue where the character is jumping around. <coughs> and I think it might be related to a collision problem. So we go back to our actor component weapon go to the add weapon function and we'll just on the add skeletal mesh component we'll just turn off collision here because we don't need collision on the weapon so set collision enabled to no collision so that shouldn't make any difference to our So the main thing is, was trying to get that smoother animation with the gun, which is better than the snapping that we were getting previously. Now we've also seen our state tree, we can also change the maximum walk speed and crouch speed for each and every individual layer. So we can 
they can correspond better to any animations that are being added and we've removed the collision on the actual weapon skeletal mesh so that's that it's a quick one just for this part